Even all remarks here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Quest video. And SideQuest, the tool that we use for side loading applications and adding custom tracks to Beat Saber, has now been updated to allow for custom color sabers. So look, I can see I've got a green and a purple one here. It also, if we go into solo mode here, we now have albums. So we can now sort of separate all our custom tracks into different albums. So you can kind of put the tracks in as many different albums as you want. You can even upload custom art as well. So you can actually sort of, you know, literally put in your favorite album, put it into one sort of folder and have it there as a separate option. So no longer are they under extras. They're now under their own separate album and you can add as many as you want, which is pretty cool. So if you've got 300 tracks, you can make yourself, you know, 30 different albums, whatever you want to do. If we click on Mr. Blue Sky, so I'm gonna play this because I didn't get caught for copyright last time I played this. You can see the play button is now go button. So there's an option now to kind of replace some of the text for buttons and stuff like that um, within sort of uh, side quest. So that's pretty cool. But let's have a quick play of this to kind of show you. So you, know, you can see we've got a green and a purple saber. And I get told off in all my videos for not being enthusiastic enough in my beat saber playing. So let's give it some welly, shall we? Come on. I need to work off this gut that people keep pointing out that I've built up. <laughs> but uh, it works pretty well. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Um, but it works pretty well. My playing is terrible. But don't blame the game for that. That's me trying to be too enthusiastic. So the process for doing it is pretty simple. So if you've installed SideQuest before, all you need to do is reboot it if you've got it open at the moment and you'll get an update as of when this video goes live. And it'll enable these new features. They'll automatically download and you'll be able to do it. Ooh. And all you need to do in the same fashion that you've done before is when you go through to sync in tracks, you'll have now have the option to do albums. So you can literally sort of drag and drop in any order in as many albums as you want, create uh, custom art, upload the folders, uh, the different sort of uh, album covers. So if you like a bit of Gorillaz, which I do, you can download all the Gorillaz tracks and put them into a Gorillaz folder or album even. Oh, I couldn't see that then, I was hitting my uh, barrier. Um, and then when you sort of uh, choose sync, like you've always had to do before, you now get the option to uh, sync up with different colors. Oh God, I'm trying to talk and play at the same time. So you can choose your Sabre colors. You literally choose RGB colors or any specific color you want and the notes change to match, which is good. So it uh, doesn't get confusing if there were purple uh, Sabres and red notes, it all matches. And as part of that upload screen as well, you can see there's a button there that now allows you to kind of add sort of replacement variables for text. So if you know any of the variables for any of the sort of uh, buttons or menu options and you kind of fancy changing them, you can do. One thing I would note is the font sizes stay the same. Oh, I'm messing this up. So bear in mind that if you add more letters, they might not fit in the button and they end up going to uh, a different line. Oh, I'm messing this up royally now. But uh, it works really well. And big, big credit to Shane, who's been doing all this work, promising people all these updates, working super hard, getting it all working. And if you kind of check side quests, there's all sorts of other options as well. You could even change the resolution of your quest or go from in there. Uh, there's some other stuff as well. I can't think of the top of my head what it is now, but uh, I'll highlight it in the video on screen now so you can have a look. But uh, yeah, so it's actually quite impressive the amount of work he's managed to put in this. And if this sort of stuff ever becomes official, he's already done half the work for them. You just need to implement what he's done. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, am I getting to the end? Or am I continuing? Oh, here we go. So yeah, so as I say, if you've uh, done this before, download the latest version, check it all out. Make sure you drop by the uh, official Discord channel for Expanse, which is their sort of uh, main app 
but it's where there's the side quest uh, information and sort of troubleshooting and all that sort of stuff is there. Uh, and make sure you give Shane a big thumbs up for all the hard work he's done. So in summary, custom lightsaber colours, custom albums, and now sort of replaceable variables for some of the text. So customising your Beat Saber has never been easier, and using SideQuest is definitely the easiest way of doing it. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down, that's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it. But do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it and try to do better for next time. Become one of the Remarkables, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out of a virtual Beat Saber. High five! Bonk! <laughs>